Hello and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install Dock Ejector on an Apple Silicon-based Mac in macOS Ventura. Before we start, keep in mind that these instructions are for Macs that have an Apple Silicon processor. Ventura changed the look and location of several system preferences, so be sure to pay attention to which buttons you're selecting. In order to use Dock Ejector, we'll need to set your Mac to enable third-party developer compatibility. To do this, we'll need to start with your computer shut down completely. Finally, we'll need an internet connection in order to download the latest version of Dock Ejector. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is push and hold down your Mac's power button while starting up to get to the startup options. Eventually, you'll get a screen with any startup volumes you may have as well as an options icon. Click the options icon to get to the recovery section. Once this section is loaded, go to the utilities menu at the top of the screen and select startup security utility. You'll be presented with a list of any OS's you may have installed on your Mac. Usually there's just one, but if you have multiple partitions, each with their own OS installed on it, there may be more. Select the OS you wish to use Dock Ejector on, then click the Security Policy button in the lower right corner. Select the Reduced Security option, then check the box to allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers. This allows only kernel extensions which have been signed and checked by Apple to load. You can then click OK. You'll be asked for an administrator password. This is generally the same as the main account on the OS you chose. Once you've entered that, click OK. After a moment, the window will close. You can then go to the Apple menu and restart. Once you're back at your desktop, the first thing you'll want to do is download the latest version of Dock Ejector. Open your preferred browser and go to maxsales.com slash Dock Ejector. Scroll down the page until you see the link to Download for Mac. Depending on your setup, you may be asked if you want to enable downloads from maxsales.com. Go ahead and allow this. Once it's complete, Go ahead and quit your browser and find the disk image you downloaded. Usually, it's in the Downloads folder. Double-click the icon to open the disk image. Once the disk image is opened, double-click the Dock Ejector installer to launch it. You may be asked if you're sure you want to open an app downloaded from the internet. In this case, go ahead and tell it to open. After reading and accepting the license agreement, you'll be presented with the installer splash page. If the latest version is already installed, the installer will tell you. If not, go ahead and click Install. You'll then need to enter your username and password to begin the installation. You'll get a number of windows opening at once, the topmost one being an alert about a system extension being blocked. Go ahead and use the button to open System Settings. You'll also have a dialog asking if you want to open OWC Dock Ejector. Tell it to open. The privacy and security preferences should now be open. You should see an alert that system software from Otherworld Computing was blocked from opening. Go ahead and click the Allow button. You'll need to enter your username and password to unlock the security settings, and enter the password again to authenticate. You'll then be given a warning that a restart is required. Go ahead and restart now. The extensions cache will rebuild, and your computer will restart itself a couple of times. Once you've gotten back to your desktop, you can close the Preferences window and the notification in the corner. Dock Ejector should now be in your menu bar and ready to use.